Obviously, I'm going to beat this thing. Of course Amen. you are, man. But if I don't, I need you two to help me end it. A Million Little Things began with a shocking death. And five seasons later, it ends with a highly expected, but even more affecting one. Yep, Gary dies in the series finale, but not of lung cancer. His friends help him take his own life, and we asked the series creator what went into that unexpected decision. But first, let's break down a few of the finale's callbacks that really got to us. In a flashback, we see Gary asking Roman Eddie to do the thing. The guys aren't comfortable with this, but they agree to help and to not tell Maggie. But Rome does want Gary on video explaining things to her. And here's the code word they'll use to know when to put the dreaded Plan C into operation. You're the one that's always talking about the elevator, Ed. I mean, what did we say? This is it. This is Rutledge. Longtime fans will remember that Rutledge was the last name of the person who inspected the elevator where the guys originally met, and also the name of the trust that John set up to care for his family after his death. Hi. I'd like to close out this account and withdraw the remaining funds. Rutledge, all right. Would you like the money wired or is a cashier's check okay? Back in the present, it's almost time to put Plan C into action. But first, Maggie takes Gary on a field trip to a nearby fantasy hockey camp billboard. The graffiti is a lot like what Gary did for Maggie in season one. And we can't possibly get any more emotional, right? Um, no, hold on, we can. Because Eddie and Rome are waiting at the apartment and they've queued up a video nobody wants to watch. Then, Maggie makes sure she's the one to hand the drug-laced tea to Gary, and now he's gone. That's when the episode finally has mercy on us, jumping to the future, where 16-year-old Javi takes a selfie at a Bruins game with Theo, Danny, and Tyrell, just like the OG guys did in episode one. But was there ever a possibility that Gary might survive? James Rodé Rodriguez, who co-wrote the episode with series creator DJ Nash, told TV Line, quote, we've tried really hard to reflect the human experience as authentically as we can. And the truth is, we had two people that were suffering from this horrible disease, and one of them beat it. So it felt like, in order to balance the scales and reflect the two different experiences that people could have with this rattlesnake of a disease, we had to go the other way. Nash added, quote, but we were really aware that people are invested, as though the characters are real, and that we had a responsibility to not give everyone a happy ending, but to make sure everyone was okay. And as Nash pointed out, that's why we got a flash forward at the end. Quote, we wanted everyone to see that Javi's okay, Maggie's okay. They're all moving on. And just like the lesson I learned when I lost my dad, your relationship with your father isn't over. It just changes. Head to TV Line for my full recap, as well as more of our conversation with Rodriguez, Nash, and executive producer Terrence Coley. And let us know your take on the finale in the comments. For TVLine.com, I'm Kim Roots. <laughs>